Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Today we're trying out this very special 35 millimeter film. This stuff is made by Polaroid and it's called Polychrome 35 millimeter. You shoot it just like any other can of 35 millimeter film. The cool thing is that when you're done shooting it, you don't take it to a normal lab like any other color film. You actually can process this at home and supposedly it gives you instant 35 millimeter photos. So it comes with this whole box right here, which is what you load the film into after you're done shooting it. You put a little chemical pack into it. But we'll go into more depth about all this later. Today we're just gonna shoot this film, see if we can get any usable results out of it and see what it's like to shoot. All right, so here's the box that it comes in. I'm gonna open this up and it has two things inside. The first is the roll of film. It's actually a pretty nice looking canister. I like the design of it. And then the second thing in the box is the chemical pack. This is what you actually load into the little processor when you're done shooting. And this holds the chemicals that will develop the film. Advance to the first frame. Good. It's a nice feeling camera. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if these photos are gonna come out at all. This film is like 20 years expired. It's ISO 40 to begin with, and because of how old it is, I have to overexpose. So I'm shooting at like ISO 20. It's really difficult to shoot at ISO 20, even in this really bright light. The camera's pretty much wide open. I'm gonna get through this roll and then we'll process it together and we'll see if the results are even usable or if there's even anything on the film. Oh, the light meters started working. Okay, so I think it's time to process this film. These come out as slide photos. That means they're positive images. If there's anything on here at all, I'll be really happy. I'm gonna start rewinding this. I genuinely have no idea what to expect here. Like I said, if there's at all an image that you can see, and I think it'll be a success. Boom. Gonna take out the chemical packet. Cool, so this is the processor. It came with the film. It opens up like this, and inside it's a whole complicated machine. Uh, the chemicals go here, the film goes here, then you close it, and there's instructions on the top for how long to process it. What we just did is we retrieved the film leader out of this canister by using another piece of film. Oh, it worked. Do you yes. see that? Yes. So the chemical packet goes right here. Like that. And then I think the film goes like this. Also over the same thing. Wow, that's crazy. That's such a cool looking thing. All right, now I'm gonna close this and close the machine. First step is to flip this down. Then you wait five seconds. We'll wait five seconds. And then I'm gonna start doing this. Cool, I'm gonna flip this. Oh, it does not feel good. It feels like I'm breaking it. All right, here's the big reveal. We should have a nice can of film. Oh, look at that. Oh, it smells disgusting. Ew, do you smell that? It's like a... Yeah, it's like a... urinal smell. Wait. Oh, it's really freaking dark. There's something on it though. Wait, what is that? Oh no, look at all these chemicals smeared on it. It's like the film is too dark. What the heck? Right up here. 
It's a couple days later now and in the last clip that you saw, I thought the slide photos were totally screwed because when I held them up to the light, I really couldn't see much and it looked like there was this black rubbery layer that was kind of blocking the light from passing through the film. Kind of as a last resort, what I did was I decided I would just rinse the film and I was pretty surprised because that black rubber layer just totally washed off. And after I hung the slide photos to dry, they looked really beautiful. So the next issue was the fact that I had to go get them scanned. So I brought them to the lab and the scans that I got back from them just looked really bad. There was a bunch of lines going through the film and there was a super crazy color cast that I just couldn't correct. And then I realized that the point of this film wasn't for it to be scanned. The appeal of it was kind of just that you would go out, shoot the photos, come back home, develop it, and then you could project those slides. I personally don't have a slide projector, but I was really surprised that the most beautiful way to see these photos was just to look at them on a light table. The colors were surprisingly nice, and I thought the film was really sharp considering it's 20 years expired. I gotta give a huge shout out to my friend Marty who filmed this video. We have a ton of really exciting videos planned for the channel and I'm super excited to share those with you guys. And finally, thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for over three years at this point and they've made it so incredibly easy to get a website up and running. If that sounds like something you're interested in for your photography, you can hit the link in my description for a 14-day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week with another video. Peace.